What's up guys, my name is Alex Costa and I know that ideally we would have a hundred shirts in our closet, right? A bunch of different types and colors and fabric. That sounds good, but the reality is it's expensive. Not everyone has the money to get all these clothes. So what are the five shirts that every guy needs? The five most versatile, easy to wear, the five styles that would get you covered. That is what this video is about. And as you guys know, I'm running a giveaway right now because we just hit 2 million subscribers. I'm giving away a Tom Ford fragrance, a smartwatch from Michael Kors, and a Google Home Mini. To enter, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram, at Alex Costa, and then tag two friends in one of my latest posts. That's it. I'm gonna leave the link to my Instagram in the description below and pick three winners next week. Good luck. All right, the first shirt that I think every guy needs in his closet, a white, Oxford shirt. There are just so many events in life where, you know, you have to wear one of these shirts. And I'm not even talking about like after you're 30 or getting older. I mean like 14 years old and up. I'm talking high school dances, prom, anything that requires a tie. Like how do you plan on dressing to a job interview without a nice Oxford shirt? Don't make the mistake of trying something crazy, like a crazy outfit for an interview. Go with the classics because they work. And a white Oxford shirt is the way to go. Plus, you can either dress them up or down. For example, for a more casual look, you can just open up one or two buttons and pull off an easy, breezy summer look. By the way, when you're shopping for these, make sure that they fit you nicely. You don't want to show up to your job interview looking like you stole your dad's shirt. Number two, we are going from the classics to something a little bit more out there, all right? Something with a, a little bit more flavor and personality than a basic button up. I'm talking about my favorite shirts right now, floral shirts. Now, when I say floral, I mean fun patterns. It doesn't necessarily have to be flowers, all right? It could be dots. It could be camo, it could be different patterns that are fun and light. In the summertime, an easy way to give off those relaxing but upbeat summer vibes is by rocking a floral shirt. I like to open up the top two buttons. If I'm feeling lucky, I'll even go for three buttons. Then I'll put on my favorite sunglasses, some accessories like a nice necklace that you can actually see when you unbutton your shirt. And all of a sudden, you have a really cool, relaxed summer look. And you've seen this look in so many of my Instagram summer photos because I really do love the style and I'm a little upset at myself that I didn't start wearing these earlier. And I've worn them in a bunch of my summer lookbooks too, so I'm gonna leave a link to those in the description below. Now, I've also seen some really cool floral tees and that's another option for you guys if you wanna create a chill summer look, not as out there as a floral shirt. If you wanna just get started, just dip your toes in the water for now for whatever reason. Um, if for whatever reason you think that you're not ready for them. but. I'm telling you, no one should think that way. Just try one because I know that that's how I felt. I felt like I couldn't really pull it off. And then I tried it and I'm like, dude, this looks great. So try it out. I'm sure you're gonna love it. Number three, solid collar polos. Now, I think that polos, they deserve a little bit more love than they actually get. I say that because it's a really good in-between. It's a great shirt to wear when you're not sure where the night is gonna take you because it's not too formal or too casual. No matter where you go, you're gonna fit in. It's also a great shirt for the summer. It's the perfect first date shirt. It works great for backyard barbecues and small get-togethers. So it's such an easy shirt to wear. Now the fit should be good though, okay? They should hug your arms properly, but not too tight. You know, make sure they aren't too long or too wide around your torso. And what I would recommend for colors, you know, obviously the basics to start, solid colors, ideally no logos, gray, navy, black, or white, so you can wear them with pretty much anything. Number four is one of the most stylish items on this list, and I absolutely love wearing them. Turtlenecks. Probably the easiest way to take your outfit to the next level. It makes me look a hundred times smarter than I really am, all right? Pair it with some nice glasses and you're gonna look like you're the smartest person in the room. And the coolest thing about turtlenecks though is that you can actually pair them with an edgy outfit as well. All right, it works. I've worn mine with leather jackets and it's actually a great look. On the other side, I've also worn mine with suits and that looks incredible. I'm not the biggest fan of ties, to be honest with you guys, so this is my go-to look for suits. The one restriction that I would have here is if you're really young, this probably isn't the look for you. There's no right or a specific age, but you know, I'm talking like 12, 13, 14, you might wanna wait. If you guys haven't seen my recent video called Seven Trends That Used To Suck But Now Are Cool, check it out because I talk a lot about turtlenecks and how that trend just came back all of a sudden and I am here for it, I love it. Number five, crew neck t-shirts. Of course, I would not be able to make a list without talking about these, right? And no, I'm not saying v-necks, I'm saying Good old fashioned crew necks. V-necks, they just come and go as a trend. You know, it's not something that you need in your closet because it might go out of style at any point. 
just like it did now in 2019. Don't overthink this one too much, by the way. If you can afford a nice, thicker, you know, more expensive tee, then go for it. There's no harm in that. Otherwise, you can also just get something more affordable from Zara, from Uniqlo, and pick a few of them up. Especially when it comes to white tees, those get pretty dirty or stained quickly, right? So getting a couple or maybe three or four of those affordable ones is a good idea. I recommend you start with solid colors, but I've been really digging some graphic tees recently, man. Like, I don't know, I used to not really love them, but I think it's so cool to be able to show some personality, maybe a little bit of attitude with your style, right? Especially in the summertime when, you know, you're literally just wearing t-shirts and jeans or t-shirts and shorts. So, you know, graphic tees can be a little bit of a change and show some personality, show some attitude instead of a solid, possibly boring t-shirt. Right now, I've been really digging this Nevermind t-shirt that I got from Very Shop. They have some really cool ones. And I really like this one here, of course, from All Saints. I've been wearing this one a lot. Guys, I'm so pumped to show you my new clothing collection. I can't wait to tell you, I can't, I can't tell you who it's with right now, but I can't wait to show you more. Cannot wait to reveal it. We're talking jackets, shoes, shirts, boots, sunglasses, all of the above. I've been working on this with a huge, massive team for so long, and I'm so excited to tell you more in just a few days with the announcement and the reveal video that I've been working on. It's almost ready, and man, I, I got like goosebumps right now. I can't even talk, so. Uh, I'm excited, I'm pumped, I hope you are too. And I also have the giveaway, so lots of cool stuff happening right now. Uh, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, at Alex Cost, and just tag two friends in one of my latest posts, you're gonna enter the giveaway. Uh, I got a Michael Kors smartwatch, the Tom Ford Aqua Azura um, uh, cologne, and I have the Google Home Mini as well, and I'm gonna pick three winners, one for each. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of cool things happening, and I'll see you again soon. Peace.